Give me that torch, boy. Hence, and stand aloof. If you put it out, for I would not be seen. Under yonder tree lay thee all along, holding thine ear close to the hollow ground. So shall no foot upon the churchyard tread, but thou shalt hear it. Whistle then to me as signal that thou hear something approach. Give me those flowers. Do as I bid thee. Go. I am almost afraid to stand alone here in the churchyard. Get it over there. Flower, the flowers like bridal red I strew, which with sweet water will I nightly do. A wanting that with tears to still by moans. On the opposite base I'll keep for thee. Nightly shall we just strew, raven weep. <whistles> the boy gives warning that something doth approach. What cursed foot wanders this way tonight to cross my opposite ways in true love's right? Night. Bubble me a while. Hold. Take this letter. In the morning, see thou bring it to my lord and father. Give me the life. On my life, I charge thee. Whatever thou may hear, or seest, do not interrupt me in my course. The reason that I have to descend into this bed of death partly to behold my lady's face, but chiefly to take from her dead finger a precious ring, a ring that I must use in dear employment. Now go, and if thou, jealous, dost return the pride that I intend to do next, by heaven, I will tear thee joint by joint and strew this hungry churchyard with thy limbs. My time and intents are savage wild, more fierce and more inexorable than empty titles or the roaring sea. I will be gone, sir, and not trouble you. So shalt thou show me friendship. Now go, live, and be prosperous, and farewell, good fellow. For all to save, I'll hide me hereabouts. His looks I fear and his intents I doubt. Testful moth, and thou will move death, gorge, pierce morsel of the earth, must I force thy rotten jaws to open, and despite I'll cram thee with more food. This is that banished haughty Montague that murdered my love's cousin, with which grief it is supposed the fair creature died. And here is come to do some villainous shame for the dead bodies. I will apprehend him. Stop! Thy unhallowed toil! Vile Montague! If then to be pursued further than death, condemned villain, I do apprehend thee. Obey and go with me, for thou must die. I must indeed, and therefore came I him. Good gentle youth, tempt not a desperate man. Fly hence and leave here. Think upon these gone, let them affright thee. I beseech thee, youth, but not another sin upon my head by urging me to fear it. Oh, be gone! By heaven, I love thee better than myself, for I come hither armed against myself. Fly hence, and hereafter say that a madman's mercy bid thee run away. I do defy thy conjuration, and apprehend thee for a felon here. <laughs> oh, thou provoke me. And have at thee! So, 
Did I dream it so? When I'm mad, hearing him talk of Juliet, to think it was even so. Did I have one writ with me in sour misfortune's book? I'll bury thee in a triumphant grave. Grave? No. A landfill. Slaughter to you. But here lies Juliet. This beauty makes this vault a feasting presence full of life. Death. Lie thou there. And the dead man in turn. Sunder is that was thine enemy. Forgive me, cousin. 